Hello everyone, it's Jennifer, and thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited about the last two packages that I received from Jesse James Beads. One of them is from the live sale, and I cannot wait to show you the wonderful piece that I've been wanting. It was a bundle, and I have been wanting it for so long because I was a little late into the game. I did not learn about Jesse James Beads until probably about the first quarter of 2021. So maybe by March, I have heard about a Jesse James Beads. And oh my gosh, I just am, I missed out on so much. However, though, live sales, they have been doing live sales once a month. And I believe it's the first, first Wednesday of the month. I could be wrong. Be sure to sign up for their VIP texting so that you can get notified when they're going to have a live sale. You don't want to miss out. Some of the some of the items that are on the live sale are discontinued. You can't get them anymore. Some of the items you're going to get at a discounted price. So it is just, I, I love the live sales and it's just fun. It's a lot of fun. Now, the first thing that I want to share is that they have these mega mixes. And the mega mixes are just that. I got the, mine was blue something. I can't remember the name of it. But this is what I got. I have a ton of these bicones. Look at those. Aren't those gorgeous? So pretty. Tons of them. And bicones is just something that I don't have a lot of. So I'm real excited about this. Then I have some... They're kind of rondelle-ish. They're not fully round, but they're not, yeah, they're rondelle. And they are just so cute. I love the color. I love the size of the hole because I could possibly get like a 0.5 millimeter a piece of leather through there. Oops, but look at the quantity. They just packed these bags up. Speaking of packing, Thank you, Cheyenne, for packing this um, on your on your packing slip that you get from JJB. Um, a lot of times they will include the name of the person that packed your order. So thank you, Cheyenne. I really appreciate it. Then we have some frosted rounds, and I love this color. It's kind of a tannish blush color. Kind of blends in with my skin tone, but they are absolutely beautiful. And what else do we have? We have some cube beads. Love the cube beads. And these have kind of, they're two-tone. They're translucent, but then have that little bit of cloudy, shiny finish. So pretty. Love these. So I will definitely be putting these to use very, very soon. And the star of the show is the bead mix. And look at all those colors. For one thing, love the tassels. Love, love, love the tassels. And it looks like we got six tassels in there. Look at that color. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. Then we have a couple of boho beads. Thank you for putting in two. And then look at that. I love the chip boho beads. So cute. I love them. And you don't need a bead cap. You already have a bead cap on there. Then we have some wood beads, which are fun. And look at the size of the hole there. You can get easily a one millimeter through there, maybe even a 1.5. So cute. And look at these. Oh my goodness. I love these. And look at the size of the hole. So pretty. Oh, I love it. I love these colors and I was late to the live. So when these were shown, I had not seen what they were, what these bundles were. And so I, I didn't know what I was going to be getting. Oh, this one, you know what? I think this one is called like coastal. It was something about coastal. Oh, I have the list here. Coastal spring, coastal spring. And then we have some seahorses. Oh, I love I love the quantity you get because I'm going to have some fun stuff coming up and you guys might see some of these, might see some of these things pop in. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that put away. Again, this was 
a, it was a color inspiration bee bundle. And then this one was coastal, coastal, uh, coastal spring. Love that. Okay. Then, oh, here's one of the items that I wasn't able to get back when it was first, when it was actually released. And I cannot believe I got myself one of these bundles. This is part of the Lipstick Ranch. And I guess this might have been part of maybe a um, mystery box or maybe a special event. But this is the Lipstick Ranch bundle. And I have been wanting this for a really, really long time. And this is Kara. And look at the details on this gorgeous metal cactus. And then look at the ring. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. So cool. The longhorn. And look at your look at your star. So pretty. And you get a piece of leather suede. A humongous jump ring. That jump ring is thick. Wow. And then a head pin. Oh my goodness. This head pin. It's crazy. Wow. So this is what I am so excited that I got because I have been wanting it for so long. And when I saw that pop up, what happened was I was late to the live, and so then I had to go back through, and I didn't know, I didn't know what things looked like. So I'm looking at the list, and the picture, you know, the picture, some of them just have, like, live cell, has their live cell logo, and I didn't know what I was getting when I saw Lipstick Ranch. That was, that was it. That's all I needed to know. So that... Coastal Spring Pack. I had no idea what was going to be in it. All right. So when I started, when I jumped onto the live, this was what was just, I was at the tail end of this being shown. And this here is a metal mix. And I believe Sarah said that this was, I think they did this for Art Beats. And oh my goodness, I had to snag it. I'm glad I did. Look at all of, and this isn't on the website. So that's the thing is that you would need to go to Art Beads to go grab yourself one. But look at all you get in these. This is all metal. And you get little spacers and you get your, your sheriff badges and your flowers. These are gorgeous. Yeah, everybody will be seeing these again. Oh, and you have a couple different sizes of those. And you have all these different colors. Now, if I get this all back in there, I will be happy. Because it is, it is packed. I did. So you have antique gold, shiny gold. You have copper. You have antique silver, bright silver, and, cop and antique copper. So you have shiny copper, copper and antique copper. Shiny gold, antique gold, shiny silver, antique silver. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I was able to snag that. That was when I came on the live. Now this here is a an enamel chain. And I remember when they had this on their site. I don't know if they have it anymore. But isn't this just gorgeous? And what you can do is there's jump ring links. I think they're soldered though. But you can, what I've done on a lot of these types of chains is I've gone in and removed the link and then used them wire wrapping beads or doing something else with them too. Or you can use them as a chain. My idea for this one is to use it a little bit differently than this chain. So gorgeous. Love it. Then these are little rabbit charms and they are so cute. Look at those. I figure what I could do is maybe put a jump ring in between there. I've never seen these. 
I just saw them for the first time. You can also, if you want to put these like on a bracelet, you can wire through the um, through the eyes and attach them into a bracelet too. They have good, good weight. I love those. Those are so cute. So the next thing that I got was I have some keychains in two different colors. And I love them. And what happened was, here's my thing. So my friend at work, she had a necklace and she broke it. And then she had earrings that she wasn't going to be able to wear. And then, so I turned the two pair, the pair of earrings, the two charms, turned one into a purse charm and the other into a bracelet. And so when I saw these, I thought, oh my gosh, this would be just perfect for keychains. So I have two different colors there. So this one has like a turquoise and a blue and a lavender. And this one has two different greens. It's like a lime green, dark green, and then a yellow. I don't know if I've ever seen these on their website. And if it's there and I never saw it, I didn't go looking for it and just didn't know that I really wanted it until I saw the live cell. So that's part of the thing with the live cell. So these, I think, were called like funky dot beads. And they are, I love them. These are the coolest. And they will go into some projects. And again, you get six of them. Now you've noticed in the mix, the, the bundle, the Coastal Spring bundle, I had six charms. I had six tassels. I have six of these beads here. Now this was part of a set. And so it was a six piece set. And those are just cool. Again, I have a project coming up that, well, it's a bunch of projects, but I have a project coming up and these will probably be part of it. Okay, let's, let's get these back in their home. So how many of you remember when we had the Monstera pendants in our Jesse James beads? It was one of the Magical Mystery bead boxes. And I feel like they have this on a set too with two pendants and like a couple beads and then a couple other. I think there's a set, maybe some bead caps. Oh yeah, that's what it is. I think it's two pendants, maybe four two beads and I think four bead caps. I feel like there is. So don't quote me, but go check it out. So go to jessiejamesbeads.com in the search, put in Mon Monstera and see if you can come up with um, the other set that they have. I love these and I love that there's six. I love the quantities in these live cells. Plus the live cells are fun. Sarah James is just hilarious just hilarious and yeah she's fun to be on lives with and to um watch live sales with all right so there's a couple of strands here one of them is just a broken strand and then this one here is the full strand and this I think is the coral coast and these are just little tiny I needed some little tiny beads and it has that a b finish on them and they're just so pretty So again, love the live sales. And I can get a good quantity. Oh, then guess what I have after this? I have a few more things to show. But I am going to share with you. I got my other, my latest order too. And my latest order includes, yes, the new Bee Jelly. I am absolutely love this new bee jelly collection it's amazing okay then we have some these are i think kale i think that was the color and these are just some more little tiny these are little tiny bicones and again just needed some little filler beads and look how much you get you get a ton then oh, these are so cute i wanted to have a little something Maybe not necessarily for jewelry, but for part of my 
um, what I do with Bath & Body products. So if any of you have received your Beads & Blooms kit, there's a little goodie bag in there. I didn't, I didn't have anything to do with the candies or the bag, but the little package that came in that bag that has your little candy goodies, that's from me. And I wanted, I saw this, um, I saw this, this is the handmade with love or made with love. And I'm going to actually put these on some of my bath and body things for packaging for gifts. Cause that's what I'll get. I'll, someone will contact me and say, I need a gift. And I come up with a gift. Okay. I have a few more things here. I have some Daisy charms. So cute. And again, the quantity you get, you get six of them. These are enamel. So pretty. So, so pretty. And then I also have some cloud charms. These are enamel cloud charms too. So pretty. Look at those little happy faces. So I thought that these would be really, really cute on bracelets. So you guys might see those again. Then I have a strand. A strand that I'll probably never bust into. That's okay. But this is a bead strand. And this one was called At the Court. And you can tell. I mean, look at the packaging or the label. It's a lot different. But look at that. I think it was the boho beads that got me. Or it could have been the bead caps. Or these bohos or these little like sugar crystal or the cage beads. I don't know what got me on this strand, but I absolutely love it. It could have been the big chunk of mic too. Isn't that so pretty? Mm. Then not one, but two Tierra cast findings. And these are copper. And I don't know if this might've been, this might've been part of a, of a workshop or it could have been just a, a a specialty item that TRCast put together for them. But you get a pinch bell. You get, oh, look at that bead cap. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Is there just one? Okay, so there's only one in there, but that's okay because guess what? I bought two. Then you have, oh, they're little scalloped bead caps. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And then little daisy. These are like little quad spacers. And you have some other spacers here. These are the rope or daisy spacer. Oh, twisted rope. I think these are twisted rope. Look at the different sizes. So you get a couple of different sizes of these. And then you get the little tiny ones. So cute. And then the little bead caps. Little tiny bead caps. Those will come in quite handy. But as you know, we don't have tear cast anymore. So when I saw this pop up, I couldn't just get one. I had to get two. And I didn't see these shown. That's the thing with the with the lives too. I can't watch the whole live the entire time, most of the time. But so excited about all of my finds for the live sale. Now on to the new bee jelly collection. So I can't find my little paper that has everything has everything listed out, uh, my packing slip. So what I'm gonna do, I was just so excited to bust into this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull up the website. It's gonna be over off to my side. And then as I bring out the pieces, I wanna tell you exactly what they are. And I will list everything in the, well, I'll, I'll list all of the items and then I'll put a link in the description um, so that you can get jump on over to Jesse James Beats and get yours now. The first thing I want to show is I got two of each, so we'll just bring out one. They have these gold hoop rings, and when you look at them, they have a nice side to them, so you can do some brick stitching with some of the seed beads you get from Jesse James Beads. So I am really excited about these rings. I have both sizes, and this one here is a little has a little bit of texture, like it's a little hammered. And it also has a hole. This one I don't think has a hole. But that's okay. But what I thought of doing was adding a jump ring here and having that be an earring. 
Wouldn't that be cute? Or even a pendant. Wouldn't that be cute or what? And just something really simple. I think it's adorable. And these are, I think, 22 millimeters. And then these are 44 millimeters. So I just thought because it has a different, little bit of a different texture, this one has a little bit of hammered, but not really. And so I thought I would do that. And I think that would make beautiful earrings. All right. See why I'm so excited? So excited. And then we have some other metal components. Let's see. I feel like I would have bought two of these. Oh, and I did. So these are those little, I call them flywheels. Maria calls them uh, sheriff badges, which is kind of fitting because our son-in-law is a deputy here in our county. And so, yeah, I think that's kind of cute, calling them sheriff badges. And so I got two of those. These are in antique copper. So cute. And you get quite the stash with them. And I have two orders here, so I'm just going to go ahead and combine them. I should have done that with the rings too. All right. Then we have some gold lasso spacers. I know what these are called. And looks like 30 pieces in each one. Wow. Those are so cute. I love them. Great spacers. Great, great spacers. These are the gold. And they have some good weight to them, too. I'm going to go ahead and combine. So you're going to see me doing a little bit of housekeeping here. Not housekeeping, but bundling. All right. Then we have, oh, they're bead caps. <gasps> Are their bead caps just not the best? I love their bead caps. Well, I love Tierra Cast bead caps too. But these are just so amazing. Look at that copper. So you know where I'm going, right? And then wait until you see my next item. I love their bead caps. So we will go ahead and combine. Yes, I got two of, I guess I kind of almost do two of everything, but not, maybe for these, because I had something in mind for them. But these spacers, these are called, I think they're called, I don't have, I don't have this part of my order up. I think these are the urchin, the urchin spacers, and they have really good weight to them. I love these. These should be in everybody's stash because they are just absolutely gorgeous. And again, you guys will be seeing these coming up soon coming up soon can't wait now we're going to get away from the metal though that was all the metal now we're going to bust into the beads so let me get those all gathered up and i'll be right back so the first thing i want to share is the first thing that well i guess first thing after the metal is what caught my eye on the website when i went looking through the new jelly collection it was these mediterranean mediterranean focal beads I love these. This was probably the first thing I put in my cart when I started looking through the um, when I started looking through the new collection. And they have it's drilled that way. These are just stunning. They're just simply stunning. You can very easily just add a head pin and make this a focal on some maybe paper clip chain. So pretty. I love these. This is the focal bead and this is Mediterranean. So gorgeous. I think it's called Mediterranean jelly. The next thing we have is I have two sets of crystal jelly beads and these are so pretty. I'm gonna bust out the wire again. Look how pretty those are. And you can simply just add, I would add like a bald head pin or even a, a um, flat head pin and then just work your way up. You can use a flat head pin and then use some wire and maybe just put three or four to make a nice dangle pair of earrings would be very, very cute. And I did get two orders of these. So I'm going to combine. I'm going to combine. 
and I haven't seen these yet. So I saw them online and when I got my order, I just took my bag and put it off to the side. And that's why I can't find the little packing slip. It got, it must, I must have added it with something else. But um, yeah, so I haven't looked inside to see everything yet. This is the first time. These are bead caps. These are, they're acrylic. And I thought that they would be so much fun. These are a little bit larger. Well, they're quite a bit larger than the ones that were on the, um, the Apricot Delight strand. These are a little bit larger, which I love. I didn't even look at the size when I ordered it. I just knew I wanted them. And that would just be so cute. Oh my goodness, you could just do something like that too. Have like a little here and have a little here and then put in a bed of, of beads. Be so cute. You get four of those and I did of course get two separate orders. So now I have a couple of bead sets. And these are, oh my gosh, they are so cool. And these are jellyfish beads. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. And of course, yes, I got two sets. Oh, they're so pretty. Mm. Those are great. They have some good weight to them. These are blue jellyfish. And again, got a couple of orders. Because again, you might be seeing these soon. You never know. All right. Then, oh, look at these. Look at these sea hearts. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And they're, I think they're, yes, they're through the side. Isn't that gorgeous? If you have some beading chain or even your beading wire, your soft flex beading wire, you can easily add those onto there. This is 20 gauge wire, or no, this one's 22 gauge. And you saw one of them went through really easily and one of them did not, one of them didn't go through as easily. And that's fine, you don't wanna force it, like this one here. And it could be because my wire's not completely straight. But these are beautiful, so pretty. You can make yourself a nice hoop earring with those. So pretty. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. I didn't have anything in mind, but I had to grab them. All right, now I have these. I have two sets of these beads, and these beads caught my eye as well. So that Mediterranean bead was my first catch. This was my second. Look at these. Are those just not the coolest you've ever seen? I think these are called like Atlantic Sea Beads, bead set. I know I said I was gonna pull these up, pull this up on the website, but I can't even see my computer from here. Oh my gosh, and of course I had to get two. They are absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait to get to using those. Wouldn't those be so pretty with some, with some silver silk? Mm. Okay, I did have a second order of the hearts. So when I was digging in my bag. All right, so now we have, I only have one order of these and my next one too. So I don't know why I only did one. These are, I think they're called coral, coral rainbow or rainbow coral. I think they're called rainbow coral. And these are faceted rounds and they are So pretty. Oh my goodness. Why didn't I get more than one set? You get quite a bit in one set. Then we have, uh, th these are little stunners. I love them. They're, they have some good weight to them as well. These are so cute. And I cannot believe I only got one set of these too. And they have a good size hole. But these are starfish dance party. I do know this one. Aren't those so cool? So pretty. Love them. I absolutely love these beads. I cannot believe I only got one set. Good thing is there's more on the website. Now we have the spotted jelly beads. Ugh. I love these. 
we have seen these before. Let's see where, there we go. We have seen these before, and I think they were maybe a little bit larger, might have been, but these are, I love them. What a way to accent whatever you're working with is with these, or you can just use them all. And again, two orders. I got two orders. It's all good. It's all good. And I probably have some more somewhere else. Oops. So cute. Okay, now we're going to get into some bead strands. So the first two strands, you have these elongated bicones, and they are stunners. And they are actually, actually, they're not, they're smushed. They're a little smashed. They're not completely round. So I guess, so they're bicones that are elongated and then smushed a little. And they are just gorgeous. Look how much you get with one order. And the sides are really tall. So if you want to do a little bit of wrapping on the side, you can do some wire wrapping on the side. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe how many you get. I obviously, I didn't look to see how many came on the strand because I am just in shock, 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 shock. Then... Look at these little faceted droplets. Look how many you get. And you know what I see in this? I see just, you can string some of these up and then add some chain to the back and, or you could crochet them. I cannot pretend like I know how to crochet, but you could do that as well. That'd be so pretty. Look how much you get. This is eight inches across. So eight times two, that's 16, 16. It's probably 16. So probably maybe, maybe 22 inches, 24 inches, somewhere around there. I'm sure the description will say it, but wow, look at those. Don't they do? I hope they sparkle. I hope they sparkle through the camera. So pretty. So I have three more strands here, and under the light here, I could just see all of this AB flashing. I hope it comes across on the camera. But the first thing I want to share are these Sea Floor Coin Beads, and they're a puffed coin bead, and they are so, so pretty. They are absolutely gorgeous, and again, look how much you get. And again, I didn't see how long the strands were. I just saw them and ordered them because I thought they were so cute. And then we have these. These are, they're really super cute. They're clear and have that AB finish to them. And these are AB abalone, abalone beads. So pretty. So, so pretty. I love them. And these are AB oval waves. And they are so pretty. I'm just, I am just floored by the amount of beads you get with these strands. So gorgeous. Man, can you make some serious projects with all of these? So pretty. Now, I'm not sure if these were part of the jelly or not. I think I just saw them and loved them. But they might be part of the jelly collection. But if not, and again, long, long strand. These are faceted and they are not rectangle. They are cylinder, but they're rectangular. I actually think that's what they're called. I think they're called rectangular shape. And it's sparkle is just incredible. I think they're called super sparkle. But I'll have the names of everything when, um, when I make up the description. I'll make sure to add names of everything. Those are so pretty. Then I have these little charms. They're little drop charms. And yes, I got a few. And would make such gorgeous little earrings. Oh my goodness, those are so pretty. And I know that these are part of the Be Jelly collection. So pretty. 
Cannot wait to use those. Now we have three bead strands. I'm in love with them. I only bought one of each. I don't know why. Because look at that boho bead. And they, there, the bead caps are all connected. Look at those crystal beads. Look at the, oh my gosh. So pretty. You can just string this up as is, like you can with every single one of Jesse James beads, bead strand. Those are just beautiful. I love it. This one here is the flower hat jelly. So pretty. Look at all the little spacers you get. Oh, so pretty. This one is the lion's mane jelly. And I don't even have words for them for this because I am just in awe. Look at all of those little flywheel spacers that I love when they are doubled up. And what are these? Look at that. Oh my gosh. And then you have some frosted rounds. And then, I mean, the sparkle just keeps on going on and on and on forever. Wow. Oh, I love this. Oh, you have your little potato chip spacers too. Love it. Then we have the bead strand. These are some moonlight jellies. And what in the world is this? It's a bead with like a frame around it. Ooh, we have some of these beads that were in, um, uh, what were these? Abalone, the abalone beads. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, look at the little bead caps. So cute. Oh my goodness. I love those. These three strands are just amazing. True JJB fashion. And last, but certainly not least, I have a bundle. It is called a mini bead bundle. And oh, is there tape on this? Let's see. Nope. Okay. Here is the mini bead bundle. And you have some little seed beads. You have some spacers, some crystal rondelle spacers. You have some, oh, look at those beads. Those are so pretty. What a gorgeous little bundle here. But wait, this isn't it. This isn't all of the bundle. This was all taped up and I haven't opened it yet. I just untaped it. And this is the strand. <gasps> Oh my goodness, this is the strand it comes in. So this is part of a bundle. It's a mini bundle set. Now I know why these were in bubble wraps. This is all glass. Oh my gosh. And then, oh my goodness. So pretty, look at that. Wow. Oh my goodness. So this is part of the mini bundle. So again, please check out the Bee Jelly collection. I'm going to have a link in the description below. And uh, I was, this isn't the entire collection. There was a lot of stuff that I didn't get. I just was kind of click, 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 click in a hurry. And this is what I got. Oh my goodness. I'm in love with this little mini bundle. And wow, in love with so many things that we got. Then you saw the live sale, the live sales. Don't miss the live sales. They are so much fun. Not only is it just so animated with the wonderful Sarah James. However, though, you get to get a lot of cool stuff. Again, I was able to snag the Lipstick Ranch set, which I've been wanting for a few years now. So be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Comment. I love to see what everybody has to say and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.